This one got me in a row Big plans, I can fuck it up My drag, rock and run it up Pass is a running pro I'm too proud to admit it right now You know what you saw when I see Welcome back to my channel <laughs> It's just mermaid, you already know. Welcome back, my little mermaids and my little merman or whatever. <laughs> Here goes Lizzie Boo. <laughs> Anywho, today, as you can see, it's different scenery. So we are outside because guess what we're about to do? Tie-dye! Yay! <laughs> so this is going to be a DIY or whatever. And... I'm gonna get ready to show y'all our little setup. And then of course, we're gonna show y'all our process of getting everything tie-dye. We're doing t-shirts and Nike socks. So we all have our own pair of Nike socks. I'm doing a crew neck sweatshirt. Lizzie's doing a crew neck sweatshirt as well, but I cut hers into a crop top. And Quincy is doing a, just an oversized short sleeves t-shirt. So without further ado, if you would like to see how our tie-dye turns out and if you would like to see our process of tie-dyeing then keep on watching this video boom okay period inspiration for this video shout out to majestic for tie-dyeing my socks all right y'all so it just says to just add water the dyes are already in the little squeeze bottles it comes with um, a project guide so i guess however you want to tie-dye it i don't know if y'all can see it good because my shadow but it has five pair of gloves, the pre-made dyes, the rubber bands, and a plastic table cover. As you can see, we're just doing it outside. Woo, I almost fell. So we're just about to go add water now, and then we'll come back when we have our bottles ready. We have our gloves. We have our dyes. And we got some Ziploc bags to put them in after we're done and let them sit. And yeah, so I'm just gonna sit the camera up and let y'all watch us figure this out. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we setting up now. We're gonna do Lizzie's shirt first. Crop top. She wants to do the swirl design. So, okay, so it says to pinch it. Pinch it, twist it. So, okay. Yeah, grab it right there. Well, no, you only need, I think, two rubber bands or three. So, yeah. so after it's twisted, y'all, you take the rubber bands and you put them on each side. It looks 
basically like this. Like a flower. Yeah. All right, so you get to choose six different colors. So pick your, I mean, I almost said three, pick your six colors. You don't want green? Nope. You sure? Yep. You positive. positive. All right. Let's okay. go then. I have a long sleeve the base of the shirt is gonna be bullseye and then the sleeves are gonna be stripes I already have it set up over here so I'm gonna just add my colors on there and then we're gonna show you our socks after So for my socks, I'm gonna do the crumple design. So we're gonna see how that turns out. I feel like my socks the only ones that's gonna turn out right, but we'll see. Okay, so Lizzie is doing striped socks. So she's rubber banding them now, and then we'll show y'all her putting the colors on.
decide to take them out and show you the end result. All right, y'all, so I look crazy. <laughs> but it's just the next morning. I woke up at like 6 a.m. and I couldn't go back to sleep, so I was just like, might as well start the tie dye because we each have two things and you have to wash it separately and all that stuff. So I just went ahead and did mine first. So my shirt is currently being washed and I'm about to put it in the dryer. So I'll just show you my shirt last. But my socks are here in the sink. The orange one came out really, really good. That's the look that I was going for. The purple one still came out decent, but it's not a lot of white how I wanted it to be, but it still looks fine. And I'll show y'all both sides, obviously, when I get done washing it and stuff. But that's how I was looking right now. And I'll just show y'all me and Lizzie <laughs> unboxing or unraveling her socks and her, um, this lighting is terrible. We're gonna unravel her socks and her t-shirt, so. I'm going to actually first I need to move my shirt real quick so that I can make some space in the sink so I'll be okay. Alright. So this is her shirt. I'm gonna rinse it first. So I'm gonna rinse it and cut the rubber bands and then I'll show y'all what it looks like. Are you excited? I told you it was gonna be so cute. I told you. Can I see? It came out so good. Hopefully, it actually gets a stripe, but if it didn't, it would be fine. So either way, it's gonna come out cute. And then your socks the same colors as your shirt, except for you. So it's still good. I told you, girlfriend. This is how it came out. This is wet, though. So I showed you the shirt. It's dry, but it's also a crop top. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the socks. This is the camera, I'll show you. This is the This looks cute though. I like this one on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, this is the camera. So we'll see y'all when we're all dry. Do a 360 with the socks. Yes, period pool. Do a 360 with the shirt. Yes, period pool. Hers came out the best all together, honestly. She looks bomb. How excited are you on a scale of one to ten? Like, rate the experience, rate your clothes. Like, tell us the tea, boo. Mm -hmm. 
I'm excited. I'm happy actually because it came out really good. <laughs> and how would you rate the experience? Would you tie dye again? No. You wouldn't, <laughs> but my you rate hands. it. I know. Are they still dyed? Yes, my fingernails are still dyed. So this is the end of the video. This is us wearing our tie-dye shirts. The end result looking really trendy. I'm falling down. <laughs> 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 but that's all we have for this video you guys i hope you really enjoyed make sure you like subscribe and hit the bell <laughs> okay bet. and comment and share you know period and also disclaimer i will say like she said about the um i don't know if you can tell but with the dye you probably need to go to hobby lobby and get their gloves because they were like um yeah, the gloves and the um and the kit are very cheap material. You might want to use like either medical gloves or like any kind of rubber gloves because those gloves were not it. Boom. But yeah, the dye pretty much it'll stain your nails like underneath like your actual nail. I mean in the nail bed as well. So just be mindful of that. Also be mindful of the dye bleeding through because if you're trying to do a pattern be either more light-handed so that way the pattern can actually turn out the colors that you want or just tie the rubber bands tighter i messed up and i only tied mine twice so all of my stuff like bleed it all the way through like there's no stripes barely like you could tell what i was trying to do but the dye bled all the way through because it wasn't tight enough and some areas i used too much dye my if you could tell here it's supposed to be this orangish color all the way around because it's supposed to be a bullseye but it bled through in the purple and then it didn't go all the way around so next time i know where to put more dye where to put less dye how to tie the rubber bands etc so even though it might not turn off exactly how you wanted the first time it's still gonna turn out cute with tie dye you just get lucky so it doesn't look terrible y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think and what would you about to say um we i was gonna do the stripe but it didn't work because um they it bled through the um the rubber bands but it is kind of like striped but it didn't work that good yeah but the ombre look is still cute so so like i said i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in my next one Bye.